There are four types of healing in Rust. Instant healing, healing over time, comfort healing, and food healing. Instant healing instantly applies and comes from things like syringes, bandages, medkits, or my early game favorite, mushrooms. Healing over time comes from many sources and creates a regeneration bar on your health bar. You will heal roughly one health per two seconds up to that bar. Multiple sources of healing over time don't stack the healing rate, but will extend the regeneration bar up to a maximum of 100. However, each point of damage you take will remove 10 regeneration, so don't step on a cactus while healing. Comfort healing comes from the comfort status granted by campfires, furnaces, rugs, etc. It will heal you nearly 1% of your max health per second, decreasing your food and water in the process. It only works if you have more than 100 food, 40 water, and no negative status effects. As a side note, you can get 100 comfort standing directly below the head of a bear rug placed on the ceiling. Food healing is a minor source, but when your health is below 61%, you will regenerate 1 health roughly every 9 seconds as long as you satisfy the same conditions that would grant comfort healing. All four types of healing stack with each other so you can efficiently heal up in a bedroom with a minor penalty in speed by adding some food and comfort, and maybe using a few bandages to finish it off. Most sources of damage will inflict a bleed equal to 20% of the damage dealt. The bleed count is the damage you will take in total, with one damage dealt every 6 seconds. While it will mess up your healing efficiency from regeneration, the damage is actually fairly slow and can reasonably be ignored for some time in favor of healing faster with syringes. When wounded, you have a 20% chance to stand up if crawling and a 10% chance to stand up if incapacitated. This will increase up to an additional 25% with max food and water, and 100% if a med kit is in your hotbar. However, in any scenario, a stand-up only occurs between 40 and 50 seconds from when you're downed, which is long enough to largely be useless. It will take a teammate 7 seconds to revive you, or roughly 5 seconds to revive you using a syringe, which will also grant the syringe healing, making syringe revives a reasonable risk to take in some situations. I hope this has been helpful, and thank you for watching.